Okay, so welcome to the first video after the revival of Mighty Eagle 73 and uh, coincidentally my 100th video done on this channel. Wow, 100 videos. That thought alone is scary. I recorded, edited and uploaded 100 videos. That means I had to torture you guys a hundred times. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry guys. But hey, you survived all that. So congratulations. Anyway, so for this special occasion, I thought why not? Why not? Why not show you what's inside my computer? Well, not really because that's the inside of my computer and as you can see, not that interesting. And I kind of already did that in my unboxing video. But what we will be going through is what is inside the hard drive of my computer. And I believe that's going to be interesting because different people use their computers differently. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what I use as opposed to say what you use. Now, I actually had that idea since the 2018 Mighty Eagle 073 setup tour video in which I said to you, I want to do another type of these show you around videos in the future. I was thinking of either a house tour, you know, have a look at where I live for approximately six years now Or a look inside of my computer, you know, what files are on there, what I do with it what But I never got around doing it until now because I thought it would be better to save it for this channel So yeah, by the way, I gave you an option where to choose a house tour or a computer tour And the house tour one, well, I can't really show you the poll because, you know, YouTube freaking removed that preacher ah! But about like 70% voted for a house tour. In fact, in the comments, Jeff said, quote, let's see a house tour next with two exclamation points, which by the way, I found a bit strange because, well, you already put one exclamation point there and why do you need to put in a second? You've already emphasized the whole sentence. Are you emphasizing the exclamation point now or what are you doing? Like you're doubling the amount of emphasis. Anyways, off topic. Basically, Jeff, like my man, like Jeff, my name is Jeff, really wanted me to do a house tour and it got two likes as well and 70% voted for a house tour of course. So obviously that's what I should do, but house tours often reveal the location of your place of residence. So for my safety and also because, you know, it's not even my house, it's my parents, I'm not allowed to show you where I live. Uh, maybe when I move out. When I'm rich enough to afford my own house, I'll show you around. So, you know, if you want me to do a house tour, you know, subscribe to my channel. You know, more subscribers I have, more money I earn. And the sooner I'm able to afford a house. So, you know, do that and, you know, share your videos to your friends, your family, your cats, your dogs, your creepy nudist neighbor next door, your uncle with an overly sized mustache, your annoying little cousin whose mom would like to speak to the manager. You know, everyone you know so I can earn more money. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna be that sellout. Okay, just do whatever you want, but like... You know, Subscribe, S like, subscribe. But anyways, just before I show you what's inside my computer, uh, I'm gonna briefly show you around my new setup because from the last time I showed you my setup, uh, which is less than two years ago, I did change a few things, but I'm not gonna make a whole video about it because I didn't really change much. Uh, and trust me when I say that that video is gonna be a lot more interesting. Here's some clues to get you more excited. Bigger, faster, brighter. But anyways, here it is. So basically I flipped the whole desk around again. So uh, before it was facing this way, uh, but now it's flipped. Since before the corners of this place, so these two places were you know, a bit messed up. And also it was a bit hard to get to and a bit uncomfortable with the computer facing towards the rest of the house. So facing the computer this way was actually not ideal. Only took me a whole year to figure that out. So that means my backdrop is also gone now since you know, it's no longer needed as the back of this thing is basically white anyway. With the exception of this shelf right here, which you can see in some of the videos. Other than that, uh, if I go inside here, you got my uh, powerhouse right here that caused me 48 plus 89 dislikes. Still got my two 4K Asus MG28 UQ monitors. Still got the JBL flip. Still got the Audio Technica AT2020 with a pop filter attached to it now. So yeah, it, you pretty much can't see it anymore. If I go, the, yeah, you can see it like this, but yeah, if I face it front, you can't really see it. Still got the Razer Goliathus extended mouse pad. Still got the same lights, except I got rid of the stabilizer light now because well, it was completely useless. I'm pretty sure I only turned it on like twice. Still got the same bookshelf here, which is a bit messier now because I added a bit more uh, useless additions in here. Um, What's not useless though is um this pair of headphones. This right here is the third set of headphones that I RIP'd. This is a sad video, isn't it? Like, this is a sad video. Like, this is sad. Play the sad music. And you know, my printer here now has a new place to chill at. So no more sitting on the floor. So, you know, you can chill. 
in an elevated path. Isn't that good? I got a new Xbox here, as you can see, which is a bit dusty. Oh, jeez. A new homemade shelf with, you know, two stools. These are stools, jeez. And uh, in this quotation mark homemade shelf, the bottom layer contains all my cubes, you know, uh, two 4x4s, two 5x5s, a pyramid and a scoop, and a 3x3 that's on a charging station. How does that work? And then on the middle layer is a bit cramped, but I've got a quarter of a deck of cards, two Xbox controllers, an old key that I've taken out from my keyboard, as you can see here, an extra clamp for my pop filter, a QJ stack map timer inside here, and another three by three that's hiding inside the bag. And on the top layer, here's my webcam, uh, Logitech C920, and uh, I used to put a pop filter here in this big empty spot, but you know, it's down here at the moment, so you know, it's not up here. And... The GTX 970. Oh, look, you can even see the camera's reflection on this thing. Now, long story short, this thing caused my PC a lot of trouble, including one time where it just absolutely obliterated my screen. So, I had to take it out because, you know, if I don't, then I think it might spread to the rest of my computer. Luckily, I had two 970s installed on my computer. And, you know, now that I've taken it out, right, I actually don't see much difference with the speeds. I mean, like, it still runs my game at the same FPS, if not faster. Have I been scammed, guys? Like, did I get scammed for this 970? Like, our NVIDIA SLI just... A big scam. So yeah, more storage on my desk, which looks a bit messier, but you know, I can't really help it. Next year, I promise it won't be messy. Wink, wink. So now let's move on to what's inside my PC, shall we? Okay, so this is a screen that you would see when it's first booted off. Now, as you can see, it's clean. I got nothing on my desktop, like nothing on either of the desktops and nothing on my taskbar, except some dust that I'm not bothered to clean it out. As you can see, I've also got different backgrounds for uh, different monitors. So as you can see, this just continues on on a straight diagonal line, which this is supposed to resemble the galaxy, but apparently this is just a painting that someone drew. And these small dots that are supposed to like represent stars are apparently just drips of paint that just, you know, leaked out onto the canvas. So <laughs> I don't know how that works. So inside the computer, uh... I can't record a video like, hang on, let me start the screen recording. Okay, so I'm now screen recording my screen and my face. And I have a better microphone now, so for better viewing experience for all of you. So as you can see, I got nothing on my desktop. So how do I open up applications? Well, lucky for me, uh, Windows 10, oh, oh wait, I'm sorry. Uh, Windows 95 introduced this very useful feature called the start menu. And the start menu is still here 20 years later. Well, actually 19, still a couple of months before Windows 95's birthday. And this start menu contains all my applications. And also starting from Windows XP, they also added a new search feature. Which, say for example, I want to open Premiere. All I need to type in is P, R, and there we freaking go. Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. It's that simple. Also, some people like to have their programs pinned to the start. So for example, if I just pin this to start, right? And then uh, as you can see, here it is. I got, you know, an, an expanded start menu, but I don't even use that. That's how clean I like my computer to be. So, you know. Also, this desktop, right? Like, completely bland. Like, scammers will think I'm using a virtual machine. So, you know, they can't scam me anymore. Not that I'd be actually dumb enough to call them. But, you know, you never know when that day will come. Now, show you around my uh, programs I use the most, well, according to Windows, which is mostly accurate. Ranked first on my list is films and TVs. So that's for when I want to watch some of my videos. So either to, like, check if they're anything's wrong with it or you know just for the nostalgia or you know when I want to watch movies which I barely do nowadays because you know I barely have any time for that so yeah I use this program a lot I probably not say that's rank number one but somewhere close to that maybe like third or fourth so yeah photos media engine add-on I have no idea why the freak that is there now the second most used according to Windows is Adobe Premiere Pro and well they got that right as a youtuber with like heavily edited videos in fact let me just show you one of my editing projects uh zero zero seven Six, so I think that's a four years ago video. Okay, see, there we go. There's the edit. Uh, as you can see, look at all this. I mean, look at all this stuff. And there are multiple like sequences to that as well. So there's a main sequence. Uh, there's the uh, timeline sequence. Look at that. I mean, if you're wondering how long this took me to edit, 23 hours. 23 hours to, you know, put the timeline together, the images, you know, all the effects from After Effects as well. Uh, this is a horrible nightmare to edit. So 
make sure you go check that out on my mighty underscore eagles 073 account if you have the time all right jesus christ how many cuts are there in total here i mean like just scrolling through this right jeez like oh, probably over a thousand jeez I, I don't even know like look at all this there's a thousand different clips in here what well, well, i i i ah uh, yeah that basically describes this video in one word what well, i i ah uh, uh. but anyways the third most used so according to windows is file explorer and they got that right uh, uh i like to manage and view my files a lot and you know file explorer is the only good program to use for that uh i probably like press win e probably like every 10 or 20 minutes uh win e basically just opens the file explorer like easy like this so you know uh next is word uh which is also right um i use it a lot for like scripting my videos and you know my assignments and since i'm in my last year of high school uh, i get a lot of those although sometimes i use google docs so probably not my most used the fifth is vmware uh which i think is wrong because i only use it to like explore and i don't really have any like real purpose for it Unlike always first time. In fact, if I just open it up real quick, uh, as you can see, uh, I only have like uh, operating systems here installed from like the late 90s. So as you can see, I got Windows 95, uh, Windows 98, Windows ME, Windows NT 4.0, and Windows 2000. So these are like different versions of it released in you know, different times. So if you're so if you're wondering why there's so many, I've also got um, programs installed from that operating system's time period. So for example, for Windows 98, I have Encarta 99 on it and Microsoft Office 97 on it. So maybe I should get my mom to try them out sometime. Uh, should I do that? <laughs> that was maybe the second OS first time. Uh, uh, well, I kind of already am, but like anyways. And not VMware. And now the sixth most used program according to Windows is Photos, which well, I think is also wrong because half the time I open it straight from Photoshop. So yeah, I think that's wrong. But the programs that I normally also use quite often include, oh jeez. I've got all the Adobe ads installed here, by the way. I, I get them all for free because, you know, our school pays for them, so. They think it helps us with our education, which who am I to argue with that? Anyways, uh, out of these Adobe apps, I use Acrobat a lot to, you know, view PDFs. Uh, uh, After Effects, uh, well, my, my, some of my effects that I create on my video and, you know, my like and subscribe sequence is also created there. And my right hand side in my four years ago video was also created there. So yeah, I use uh, After Effects quite a bit. Uh, Adobe Dreamweaver is another one that I quite often use. Uh, these are to design like web apps. So if I ever want to like code in like HTML, so for example, uh, if I want to create like a website, I could use Dreamweaver. I'm currently actually working on something with Dreamweaver right now. Uh, let me just show you real quick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's called Live Seminar, and uh, it's not quite um, completed yet. Um, maybe I'll showcase this one day when um, you know I complete the app and you know do a let's play on it. But anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, Adobe Media Encoder is another one that I quite use a lot uh, to you know render my videos on Premiere. Uh, they take about the same amount of time. But you can like queue rendering videos as well, so um, that's quite useful. Adobe Photoshop is something I use a lot, and all my thumbnails and you know some of my images that require editing are all created in Photoshop. I pretty much never open Paint. Who uses Paint? Like legit. If you have Photoshop and you still sometimes use Paint, then like you, you're doing it wrong, man. And of course, Adobe Premiere Pro. I have two versions of it. I actually have two versions of pretty much everything. I just realized that. And Adobe XD. XD! The frick is even Adobe XD? Like, why is that even on my computer? What? Why? So those are all the Adobe programs I use. The others probably open up like twice. Except for XD. Like, why is XD even on my computer? But anyways, I'm uh, moving on the list. Um, well, I got Audacity here. Uh, and that's to for audio editing and recording. In fact, right now, I'm actually recording my audio on Audacity, as you can see here. So like, you know, it's recording everything I say. And look at this. It's still going. So if I say something onto the microphone, as you can see here. So like, if I scream like really loud, right? Watch this. Ah! Look at that. <laughs> That, 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 it's recording everything I say. As you can see, uh, my really loud scream, uh, it went all the way up. And sorry for headphone music. Let's do this again, yeah? Because this is actually really fun. Look at that. Uh, it's doing work, Audacity. Sorry, guys, you had to go through all that. Um, <laughs> you, guys, you guys had to go through that a hundred times. I mean... Um, anyways, moving on, um, Avast, uh, well, that just counts as, like, my security guard, so I really consciously use these. Excel is here, uh, I use it sometimes, but, you know, Google Sheets is better. Filmora, which, you know, my mind really wants me to delete it, but my body is telling me to keep it, so, you know, 
it's still there. I guess it's just there to, you know, remind me of all the fun times we had together in 2016 and 2017. Yeah, so, well, uh, no, no, no. They are not fun. They are not fun at all. They were frustrating and unprofessional and hard to deal with. But now I have Premiere and it's all good. Hi, no, well, it's not all good. It's still kind of frustrating. In fact, Premiere takes longer to edit than Filmora, so, you know, it's not all good. Alright, anyways, uh, films and TV, uh, already mentioned before. Uh, Firefox, uh, it, it acts as my, uh, secondary browser. Uh, uh Chrome is, uh, my main browser inside Firefox. Uh, may mainly because of, you know, the Google atmosphere and, you know, its speed, its compatibility. So, as you can see, I have my, uh, main account, uh, logged into Chrome. And Firefox is for my other account, as you can see here. So, uh, there we go. That's why it's always better to, you know, have a second browser. With you. By the way, I also use Chrome because you know you can customize your themes. I mean, look at this. Look at my theme for Chrome. As you can see, um, I've changed it. Uh, you know, so it has a better background and all. So as you can see, my uh, computer has like a really galactic theme, which kind of matches my computer as well because it's an Alienware. So you know space and the universe is all there uh, uh itunes is also here just to listen to music on minecraft disputedly my favorite game and uh there's our uh, minecraft windows 10 edition so th that's why there's two minecraft uh yeah, it's a lot worse than normal Minecraft. I didn't install that. Uh, well, Windows kind of did that for me. I don't know why, but so, you know, it's just it's there. It's there. Notepad plus plus is another one I use to uh, you know, just view text files and code and you know, I because a normal Notepad is just you know a bit too bland. So you know, OBS. Um, OBS is here, but like I don't really use it. I use XSplit. Opera, I guess, is counts as my third browser, but like I've opened it twice, so I'm not sure if you count that. Uh, PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint is another one that I often use because. You know, I use that for presentations and my last year of high school, I would have to do a lot of presentations But I kind of use Google Slides a lot, so I don't really use that a lot uh, Skype is another one I use a lot before uh, Discord replaced it uh, Steam, which contains all my games Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, both really good coding platforms uh, Visual Studio is more for like uh, Windows applications, whereas Code is used for like you know, applications such as like HTML and Discord bots. Uh, VMware, which well previously mentioned. Word, uh, also previously mentioned. Uh, XSplit, which is recording my screen right now. In fact, look at this. If I drag XSplit onto this window right here, right? Uh, let me just sort of do this. Oh, look at that. Trippy. Oh. Jeez, I could, I could look at this all day. <laughs> Jeez, this is dumb. This is... <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. Uh. By the way, um, there's an XSplit watermark down here right now. Uh, as you can see, um, I didn't buy the license. Okay, um, I'm I'm too poor. I'm too poor. Give me money. And finally, Zoom. I mean, we all know what Zoom is, right? Uh, thanks, Corona. Thank you so much. So yeah, that's all the applications uh, I use on a daily basis. Uh, for some reason, Discord is not there. Uh, that's another one I use a lot. But apparently, it's not included in here. Uh, the Ds. Just got a bunch of DVD stuff. No, no Discord. The other programs are just, you know, programs I've opened twice, which are not really significant. So, you know, you can scroll through it. You know, check it out yourself. Um, am I giving you enough? Uh, yeah, there's, there's all my applications. So you're welcome. Anyways, now onto my files. So we're currently on this PC, you know, the grand directory of every single one of my files. And inside my, my this PC directory, there are 11 drives. Uh, one of it is um, Apple iPhone, which you know, is not really a drive. And another one is iCloud Photos, which... I don't even know why that's there. I mean, like, what, what even is that? Uh, there's the A drive, which is the uh, DVD drive, uh, uh, which is um, a default Alienware this drive. So that's for when I want to, like, you know, view CDs and DVDs. Uh, a bit obsolete, but, you know, the option's always there. I mean, you never know when you might need it, so, you know, it's always... You know, good to have a DVD drive. Uh, the B drive labeled the MSB, which stands for uh, the Mighty Serial Bus. That's basically my USB stick, which is a Sandisk 64 gigabyte Ultra Flare. And that's a drive that I, you know, carry it with me everywhere so that, you know, I could access it anytime I want. And, you know, I could plug it into any computer. So, yeah, that's that's my B drive. This is actually really useful considering, like, you know, um, I'm still in school and, you know, I could bring it anywhere. So, you know, I could access it, you know, all my schoolwork in a file. So, you know, all my Subjects. Uh, the USB is actually attached to my wallet, so you know, I one I could never use it, and two I carry it whenever I go because you know I bring my wallet like everywhere I go. Uh, the C drive, which is my uh, 256 gigabyte uh, Samsung 850 Evo solid state drive, so basically you know all my you know program files, so you know my program files are there, which contains you know all my programs that are inside the 
start menu. Of course, um, Windows files are there and, you know, System32, which I should probably delete, except I'm not going to, but you should delete it. I mean, it's a useless folder. I mean, delete System32, won't you? And now we have the rest of the drives, except for G drive. I don't know why G drive is here, but, you know. The D drive, the E drive, the F drive, the H drive, and the I drive is all contained inside one single HDD, which is a four terabyte uh, Western Digital green drive. So this poor little hard drive has to take care of five discs. Now, I know I could, you know, keep them all in one disc, but like, you know, it's better if you split them because that way, you know, if one of the drives is being overused, then the others could just still carry on. So the D drive is my documents drive, which has assigned 1.5 terabytes in it. Uh, basically, you know, all my documents, you know, uh, and, you know, all my pictures, uh, you know, my, um, my Adobe applications because, uh, you know, it doesn't fit inside the C drive because it's too full. The shows and movies that I watch, which contains, uh, 120 gigabytes of stuff and all my downloads, which is also a massive folder. Uh, 100 and... wait... It's still going. Uh, 161 gigabytes of files. So, uh, the E drive contains all my games. So, you know, uh, it's all my uh, Steam and Origin games, as well as Destiny 2. Uh, that game that I shall not name, which I don't play, by the way. So, don't look at me that way. Prayer Path 3D is also something I play a lot. Well, before I, you know, entered my final year of high school and I have no time to play it anymore. And also because SimBuddy shut down. So, you know, there's no point in really playing it. Rex is just an add on for uh, Prayer Path 3D. So, don't worry about that. Uh, and Unreal Engine 4. Which which, you know, it's not really a game, but it's a game creator and also because I have no room in my C drive, so, you know, it's just there. The F drive contains all my blood, sweat and tears. All the files that are required to make one of my YouTube videos. So, you know, there's scripts, so, you know, my Word documents that, you know, I read off. My clips, which, you know, uh, is all the unedited footage of my videos. Editing, which is basically, you know, just all my, you know, hard work that's in there. Uh, all my Premiere files and, you know, Filmora files for those before 2018 and Filmora files takes more space than Premiere files like what the hell you're not even a real editing software you're just for beginners why are you taking up so much space my usefuls as well so basically contains all my uh you know my clips my sound effects my video effects and you know my outro project and also contains like images for all my you know my projects so so yeah that's another useful folder uh finished videos which uh, it's all my Hard work all into one folder and it contains 173 gigabytes. I uploaded 173 gigabytes of stuff onto YouTube. Wow, that thought alone. And finally, we have the thumbnails folder, which is, you know, all my finished thumbnails and, you know, my Photoshop projects as well. Uh, as you can see, the Mighty Eagle 73 folder is, like, more modernized, but, like, but I really only use, like, my Photoshop files and my, you know, my finished thumbnails. Like, the other ones, look at this, they're all modified in 2017, so, you know, not really my useful folder. Uh, so, yeah, that's all my files that I need to create a video. By the way, the finished video files is, like, 100. 170 gigs, right? Uh, 173. How big is the clips file? <laughs> 406 gigabytes. Wow, I think I might need more space for the YouTube. It currently only receives like uh, three quarters of a terabyte. Uh, same as my games file folder. I should probably like, you know, transfer more of my storage from my H drive to my F drive because, you know, in my H drive, like barely 10% of it is used up. Like 474 gigs out of 512. Are you mad? Uh, the H drive, by the way, just contains all my virtual machine files that are used for like other operating systems. So basically, you know, hard drives, uh, my operating system, you know, ISO files, and you know, my software. That's all, the, which is all the software that's in there. So yeah, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and you know, Microsoft Encarta. And finally, we have the I drive, which is basically, uh, which is empty right now, but it contains all my virtual memory. So if I show you right here, right, if I open up um, Task Manager, uh, as you can see, all oh, that's all the process I have going on. Uh, as you can see. Uh, this is a committed memory which has 173 gigs committed to it and as you can see that's my basically my memory all my memory added up together so that creates 173 gigs basically the rest of my HDD is assigned to my iDrive previously it kept running out and you know gave, giving me like error messages about like you know my memory is running out even though I have a lot of memory but you know my committed memory was running out so you know oh yeah by the way inside my uh, games folder basically Steam and Origin are also in there uh, I'll show you real quick here are my Origin games so basically 
basically all the FIFA games are uh, Need for Speed Payback, uh, Plants vs. Zombies for some reason, and The Sims 4. FIFA 20 and Sims 4 is really the only one that I- How many hours do I have on FIFA 20? 2,233 hours. <laughs> and how many on Sims 4? Uh, 543. Yeah, that's slightly better, but, you know, still a lot. I had a lot on uh, FIFA 18 and uh, FIFA 19 as well, as you can see. Uh, but, you know, they're obsolete. And Need for Speed Payback, uh, 4 hours. Oh, that, t that cost a lot, and I only paid it for 4 hours. What the heck? And here are all my Steam games. Uh, Adventure Quest, uh, 10 minutes, so, you know, not really that much. Uh, Black Watchmen, uh, 46 hours. Uh, that's a spy game that I used to play uh, in 2016, 2017. So, if you want to view the videos, they're right here. Uh, City Skylines, uh, 325 hours. It's a really good game. The Crew, 852 hours. I used to play this a lot, but like now I don't really want to play it because now I have my license and you know, if I play, you know, racing games too much, who knows what will happen on the road. Same goes with Fast and Furious. Like, if you have a license right now and you, you're like a um, beginner or like a learner driver, don't watch Fast and Furious and don't play racing games. That's all the tips I could give to you if you're a new driver. Uh, Dota 2, uh, not really that much. Seven hours. Um, Lost Go to Second played a lot. Uh, Emily is Away. I, I played it for like a video. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, it's 972 hours. It's a really good game. Kind of violent, but you know, it's a good game. Uh, Grand, uh, GTA San Andreas. 25 hours, but that was way before uh, that game that I played for a video, uh, 334 minutes, so you know, I don't really play a lot. Uh, FSX 5139 hours. This is well, I used to leave it on a lot, so even when I'm not playing, so you know, that's a lot. It got replaced by Prefar 3D, so I don't really play it anymore, but. Even now, I don't really play Prepa 3D anymore, so, you know, it got doubly replaced. Mini Metro, 40 hours, uh, Odyssey, you know, well, that's, I played it for 6 minutes, uh, it was given to me by Vsauce, and it was not even a good game, uh, it was part of a curiosity box, uh, where they basically, uh, they gave out some games to the users, and this was one of them, and it was a horrible game. I played it for 6 minutes, and I got bored of it, so, no. Pick Cross Touch, 100 minutes, I don't know why that's there, uh, Plague Inc. <laughs> uh... Uh, I last played February 2, and I guess February 2 was when, um, the coronavirus, like, actually started to get scary, so I just stopped playing it. Um, it's none. Um, I don't think it's right to talk about Plague Inc. nowadays, because people are dying from an actual plague, so, uh, I'm not gonna really, uh, make fun of that a lot, so, but anyway... Punch Club, 3 hours, uh, Rocket League, 229 hours, I absolutely suck at it, um, Shell Shock Live, 129 hours, uh, Terratech, 611 hours, uh, uh, last play was 2016 though, uh, TS4X6, I don't even know what that is, uh, Universe Sandbox, uh, 80, 83 hours, um, I used to play that a lot before it got a bit unrealistic, and Winning Putt, uh, it was a golf game, jeez, in 255 hours for some reason, I, I, I guess that was, when I had like a um a phase where I really like golf, but you know, I really like golf anymore. Before you ask which one of these games that I'm good at, I suck at all of them. I mean, I'm not a really good video game player, so you know, that's also the reason why um I'm staying away from video games on this channel. So uh, you know. I guess if I had to pick, um I guess um the sandbox games, I mean that just they're based on creativity, not skill, so those would be my best games. Uh, I guess um, FIFA 20 is another game that I'm really good at. Uh, well, not really good at, but you know, I can easily beat the world class AI. So you know, uh, um, I, guess, I guess I guess that's you know a bit better at FIFA 20. And Sims 4 is another sandbox game, so you know, pretty good at that also. And uh, is there anything else I want to show you? Uh, not really much going on down there, but so I guess that's really all I have to show you. Uh, Jeez, I've been recording for one and a half hours. What the heck? So, um, I don't think I missed out on anything. So, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Now, now in my last video, we hit 11 likes, which is one more like than my target of 10. So, uh, let's aim high again this episode. Uh, 20 likes! That might be a bit too steep. Uh, let's just go 15. Yeah, 15 likes should be good. Uh, so let's see if we can get 15 likes this episode. Uh, of course, subscribe to this channel, of course, if you haven't already. And while we're at it, why not hit that notification bell? I mean, it's right next to the subscribe button. Of course, uh, leave a comment on this video as well. Uh, your comments make me stronger as a YouTuber. And of course, I reply to every single one of them. And also, if you're bored at all and you know want some fresh entertainment, uh, why not check out my four years ago video where I explained the history of my two channels. That video took 20 23 hours to edit. Please go and watch it. But anyways, guys, uh, that's all I have to say for this video. I guess I'll see you guys all in my next video. So, um, goodbye. <laughs>